Welcome back everybody. A little bit of everybody's golf on PlayStation 4. A bit of a viewer request video today. Someone asked me about my custom club setup. So I thought I'd talk a little bit about my custom clubs and my kind of overall rank and stuff. Um, so a bit of a short video. No gameplay, but I'll just kind of talk you through it. So I suppose the first thing to look at is, is kind of my stats. So where are we at at the moment? Um, club skill level 74%. But that's kind of an average of all of your of all of your stats. So just look at my club details. I've got full power on my one and three, but on my five iron, I tend to use the five iron quite a lot. Got a lot of good control. In fact, only the nine iron, the sand wedge, the four, the five, and the three. I mean, how you get control on the five wedge, I'll never know. <laughs> on the five wedge, is it? And then backspin on most of the irons is maxed out. And then my um, my putter and my approach wood. I've got the the high back door because they're the ones you tend to get the chip ins with all the the serious stuff. But the pitching wedge is nearly there. Um, and as you can see, the rest of the back doors have just come from leveling up. Really, you kind of get um, a bonus level assigned uh, every time you complete a rank. I think. So yes, that's my overall skill level. Um, in terms of my course records. I think yellow, is yellow better or red better? Yeah, so they're my kind of overall scores for, for Eagle City. Nothing spectacular there. But again, I could do with filling some of those out, actually. Certainly the championship tees I could do with, with playing a bit more. And obviously my um, normal eight and hold championship scores came from EG Cup 1. Alpina. Again, a couple of yellows in there. Fair few reds. I should work on that one really. 18 under for the regular 18 uh, with teeny cups. I'm kind of a little bit proud of. <laughs> but again, I think I can putt. Uh, Canaloa Beach. Again, some green, some blues. That two over on normal cups. That's not good, is it? Should have a look at that. Um, yeah. Vortex Valley. Again, not really played many rounds on Vortex Valley, so pretty incomplete maybe I need to fill this out a bit get some get some better scores in uh, and then Imperial Garden only ever really played on the regular tees on there and then green um, this is one of the DLCs you get if you bought it um, early I think we got this as a DLC I've only actually completed one round on there I should definitely go back and do some rounds on there but again the standard tournaments don't use the DLC courses so if you go into the standard tournament play so you'd have to make an effort. And then I haven't got the um, the other two DLCs at the moment. So that's my kind of core stats. In terms of my custom clubs, i got right. two sets. So I got my first set, um, set one, which was complete rank seven. And I'm in the process, I've already powered that up once. I think I got it to level 19. Uh, no, level 17 on power, about level 10 on control. Um, and I've recycled them, so I'm in the process of upgrading these. Uh, they're at level 10 halfway through, so maybe they'll get to 20. I really want some some superpower clubs. And then my second set, which I bought, um, I've got them up to level 20 with all the 11 upgrades. So again, I'm trying to get past that power-wise, but they're my kind of best custom clubs. Um, so there's a couple of ways you can get custom clubs. You can buy a set uh, with gems. Um, and they're 50 gems for an extra custom set. And you can also go into the club shop. I'll just show you that quickly. So you can go into the shop and you can buy, I think, an additional two sets. Yeah, hi. Yeah, so you can buy a set there for £2.49, uh, which, is, which is well worth it. Oh, no, I must have bought my second set then with 50 gems. So, yeah, you can have an additional set of custom clubs. See you again. Come in. Can I purchase how many sets can you have is a good question my last. A little short. So I think you probably can buy another set. Um I've had to repair certainly set one got repaired once. I think the only impact of of when they fail, and I'd use them quite a lot, I mean, it, it's not going to fail quickly, is that you can't see the flag marker on the power gauge. So you could probably carry on, but you can repair them for 10 gems, it's not a problem. I've never really changed the shot FX on them. Um, 
as I said, I bought a set, and I've certainly recycled the set. So I recycled my custom clubs one at least once, and I may recycle them again just to try and get the power. Come back soon. Um, and you can also, so the 11th upgrade, so you can get 10 upgrades from him, so that's 100 gems total. You can also come down here right. and get a final upgrade, um, and you can only upgrade your... Yeah, see, he won't let you upgrade when you're at 5 of 10. He says, Dickhead Chicken, help you with this set. And then these are at 11 already. So you can go to a maximum of, of 11 upgrades. Um, so in theory, you could get to 33, but I think they max at level 25 for power. Um, so I'm trying to get a set as close as I can. So I've just been off farming gems. So how do you farm gems? Well, tournaments help. Um, so particularly uh, the top-ranked tournaments. So these special tournaments, you tend to get gems as a reward. Uh, and you can get anything between three and I think the most of it is six. Uh, the daily course, sometimes awards. Certainly each of the open courses, there'll be two gems on each course for certain, so you could go around each course and find them. And there's a little way you know, once you know where the gems are on the first course, you add two each time. So let's say they're on course um, hole three here, you then, it would be then the fifth hole on here, which of course is hole 14, because you've got to add nine. And then this would be then nine, so five, seven, yeah, 16, then this would be the ninth. And you kind of work your way through. Uh, and sometimes you get gems awarded for things like uh, Turf War wins. And they have been handing out, I think it's just finished, you got 10 gems if you logged in sometime in the week. So they've gone through and done that five times. In fact, in my notice box, you may see that they've been tagged up as bonuses. So you used to get 10 gems every week when you logged in. I think it was starting on a Sunday. Uh, no, it's not in there. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't keep everything. But yeah, you were getting you were getting ten at a time. So that's a quick look at my custom clubs. Um, what I might do really quickly is just kind of show you them in action. So let's quickly set up. Right, let's do an open course. Let's find a nice quiet one, and I'll show you the difference between the various club lengths, for want of a better term. So I'll play a standard um, to show you what the standard clubs are like, which is what you get in the tournament. And I'll show you set one and set two. You can just see the difference in length and what that means. Um, and if you watch my video on the international tournament, you know, the length you can hit makes a massive difference to how you play the course. You can be much more aggressive uh, when you've got the, the custom clubs and you've got the length. And you've really got to think about how you manage the hole and which position you're going to go in when you when you haven't got the length. So as you can see, I've got it set up for standard because I was playing the international tournament. So your standard club set gets you at 280. Um, I think you can take things like big air and, and stuff like that as well and, and get a bit more a bit more length off the standard clubs. Um, and don't forget your club skill also impacts that. So as you kind of power up your skill. You'll also increase your length. So, Green Coach Club, let's quickly bomb over to the first. Ooh, some bits and pieces. We'll pick those up later. Oh, what? It's a pop. So, by default, you're going to hit 280 off this. So, just to show you where 280 is. And we'll just do a standard shot. No power, no, um, no top spin. Oh, good try. So 280 will take you just past the tree. Yeah, so carried about 260, rolled on. Actually went, actually went 290. So let's go back. And I'll show you custom set one. Which I think is at level 10 for power. Hole one. It's a par four. So, custom set one, which is level 10. So, again, let's just hit it normal power. Bravo! So, you get a fair bit more carry. Yeah, well past the tree. So, carried 295. That carried further than the standard clubs even went. Got me to 335. 
and then I'll show you what a, what a level 20 club will do. My cart, by the way, is, um, is DLC, I think. Again, I think if you bought early, you got a you got an extra cart and, what? It's a and you got some clothes and stuff. So let's just what? It's a powerful. Uh, so go custom club two. So that's effectively a level twenty club. So sh showing three sixty. I've got to think about where I'm gonna hit this actually. Okay. So again, no top spin, no power shot. Let's just hit it. Oh, Nietzsche. So that carried 330. That ends up at about 375. You know, massive difference. So you're going from from having up, you know, leaving yourself 100 to go to leaving yourself a, a cheeky little approach shot. So you can see the difference that that long drivers make. You know, turns this par four into a into a much more birdieable proposition. Um, although I did muck that approach up. So anyway, I'll leave it there. I hope you enjoyed that uh, little introduction to to custom clubs. Um, as I said, you get them at rank seven. So if you're not at rank seven yet, don't worry, <laughs> they'll come. It's your reward for for getting there. Uh, and if you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you've got the idea for a, for a custom video or something you're interested in, I'm preparing one currently on spin and all the various types of spin. I'll be releasing that soon. Then please leave a comment and I'll, I'll have a look. I'll see you.